Hi! Welcome to this tutorial on how to make additions, corrections, and updates to the Icelandic Roots database. Do you want to make a change or did you discover information that was incomplete? One way you can check on your own family members is by going to your My page and then clicking on the Ancestors tab. You can choose an ancestor and from their page, if you want to suggest a change for an event, you'll see a little piece of paper by the various events where you can suggest a change. Now, if you are looking at your ancestors page and we did not have a death or a burial event, or when you look down the page, if we were missing a child, or some other information, like I'm even missing their marriage date, which I do know, so I need to send that in and add it. But if you had something that was more than just clicking here and changing either the date or the place or adding a note about the event, something interesting about their birth, you can add this here. But for others, you want to click Suggest. So you're going to put your name, your email, and then the description of the changes. Say that you are missing a child that did not live past two years old. This is their name. This is their birth date, their birth location, and their death date and their death location and make sure you add a source of the information. If the only source of your information is you, say that, you know, this is about yourself, that something happened that you want to let us know, just write that in there, give your consent, and then submit the suggestion. If you wish to tell us something more general and want to send documents, or obituary stories, photos, videos, headstones, recordings, obituaries, all different kinds of things. You go down here to this contact us and it says if you need to send an attachment, please email us directly at support at icelandicroots.com. And so that you would have to go to your email inbox and then send us those pieces of information. But these items really help to make their pages and their memory come alive and preserve it for the next generations to come. It's so fun to be able to see the passenger lists and the ships that they came on and the ship that they came to Quebec on and the obituary and stories about their, their lives, the pictures from Matsvib Lund, the interactive maps, and this more information down here like his citizenship and another passenger list, their headstone. So please send us information and don't forget about your cousins. If you click on your grandparents, great grandparents or great great grandparents, you can look and see who is missing information. And like for me, I need to find my second great aunt she was born in 1849. What is her death date? So just remember to go to your cousins, go to your my page, look at your ancestors, poke around in the database. There's a lot to see over here on the left, but we want to make sure your family is preserved in the database. Thanks and have a great day.